Hello, today I'm at the Antique Textile Museum in Gulfport, Florida. The address is 5125 Gulfport. And I'm going to talk about Tibet and try to show people a little bit about how primitive the culture is and a little bit about the museum because I specialize in Tibetan culture, Tibetan antiques and textiles. So this is the plateau of Tibet. Tibet at one time was much larger. It would extend all the way almost to Chengdu and Lanzhou. But because of Chinese expansion, Tibet is now much smaller, encompassing this area right here. The Himalayas are here, Nepal, India, and the average elevation in Tibet is higher than any mountain peak on the lower 48 in the United States and every mountain peak in Europe. So crossing into Tibet you're at a higher altitude so when people fly in they often get altitude sickness so it's important to get climatized. Tibet Used to, have, used to be close to the trade routes, Marco Polo type of thing, that would go into China. Mongolia and Tibet had become, uh, had good relationships, and Tibet brought Buddhism to Mongolia. Kind of an interesting f fact. Happening in the Khan era. Uh, I'm going to show you some uh, pictures so you get an idea of how primitive the culture is. Okay, so let's look at some pictures here. Prayer flags on every peak, every crossing of the mountains, you'll see prayer flags. Tibetan Mastiff is indigenous to Tibet, and the Mastiff, the sheep, and the yak, the Tibetan sheep and Tibetan yak, are all on the endangered species list. They're trying to crossbreed them so that people can take them to lower altitudes, but basically they only live at high altitudes. Her dress, very unique. This is at the top of the Jokan, and it overlooks the Potola. The Potola is where the Dalai Lama stayed. And these pictures were all taken within the last 20 years. So you can really see just how primitive the culture is. In Tibet, the people are nomadic, so they have to graze their animals and find proper vegetation to do that. And they often live in tents. The yak is the staple of their diet. That's a yak skull painted. I found in Zongdian, which is on the Chinese side actually, but I uh, it used to be part of the Greater Tibet. So if you walk on in Western China, west of Chengdu, you'll find a lot of Tibetan culture. But that is also disappearing because as Chinese want to, you know, want to see their part of their country and they. They think of themselves as Buddhists, so they all want to go to Lhasa, which is the capital of Tibet, kind of like Americans in Disneyland, I guess, if you have children. Next week, I'll talk about the Tibetan rug. It's very unique to Tibet. These are some examples, but I'll go in much greater detail next week.
And this can all be found at the Antique Textile Museum in Gulfport, Florida, where we'll discuss more about Tibet, India, and Peruvian culture. Thank you very much. My name is Mike, and if you have any questions, please feel free to call 727-204-7305. Again, thank you, and I hope to see you soon.